What up, guys? <clears throat> I wanted to discuss something today that I've been doing a lot of inf information diving and exploring into, and I wanted to kind of uh, tell you my thoughts on it, and that's VR, right? My friend brought up to me a few days ago how VR is the future, as we've seen with Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg, you know, how he changed his Facebook thing to Meta. We, we realized that, you know, he believes vastly in VR. And uh, I have a, a PSVR headset, if you've ever watched my reviews. And, you know, with having that, I, ob I obviously thought it was cool and enough of a niche to believe that, yeah, you know, I like it. But just with the VR headset, I was like, no, I don't think it'll be the future. I doubt it. But I've been looking more into it and... I do think it will definitely be the future now, and I hope that we start pushing t towards it quick, because it could be the future today if we really felt like it. And uh, for unfortunately, only Mark Zuckerberg apparently is the main, you know, believer in this. And if all companies fell together and started working to make, you know, VR the fucking future, like we would have amazing shit today. So I'm just going to quickly go over some things so you can understand what I mean um, of how VR will be the future uh, in some capacities, how it can be now, and what that means, what you essentially can do. There's a few things that are just obvious things that you could do that fucking, that you maybe never even considered. So whether, if you've ever had a VR, if you were like me and you only had a PlayStation VR, let's say, um... The PlayStation VR, the reason it's mis misdirecting, you know, if you only have that, for example, is because the v PlayStation VR is connected to your PlayStation, so it's, like, very... You can only have it there with you um, at that spot, right? Um, you need a camera, so there needs to be a camera watching you, shit like that. It, it, it's very, you know, just having that, you'd never consider that fucking... It, it, you know, it's the future. How You can't just have that shit everywhere. But if you've seen the new Oculus Rifts and shit like that... Um, you don't need any of that. With It's pretty impressive, you know. It has cameras put onto the device, which means that you don't need anything. You just have your controller, so you can, of course, interact with shit. And you have the VR headset, so you can look around. And it's getting to be a manageable size. Now, a few things that you can do with the VR. Now, imagine this. You know, our phones, if you look at your phones today, they are, are the future, right? You, we, all in one system. We could do everything with them. We could we could watch our movies, watch TV shows, call our friends, fucking go on the internet, look up anything we ever need to look up, uh, play video games with it. Uh, we could do anything. Open files, anything on it, right? Well, imagine that, but... Imagine it like if you were able to bring not only your room with all your stuff intact with you, but literally anything like your dream, your dream home, your dream mansion, your dream fucking estate, exactly what you would want. You can bring with you anywhere in the world at any point, just like you can bring your phone. So what does that mean? So imagine in the future, like I said, this could be now because devices like this already exist. We just need to work on the graphics so it looks as great as the VR you're looking at right now. So what's that, what's that mean, means is instead of bringing your phone with you everywhere and being able to look up, you know, watch a movie on your phone or, or, or call somebody, imagine everyone brought like a VR headset with you. And maybe in the future there will be, you know, close to the size of glasses, let's say. If that was the case, we could essentially have the same things but imagine you built, so, so imagine you have a VR world, you put your VR helmet on, and you see a recreation, like I said, not of your house, but of your dream house. So you have a fucking, uh, on one area you have a movie theater, fucking right, a giant movie theater in your house so you can watch movies. Uh, another area, you have six of the highest, most crisp 4K fucking work laptop, desktop PCs sitting there. And then on another side, you have another fucking movie theater size screen that you can use to fucking play video games, let's say. Um, and, and then behind that, you know, you have a fucking... And instead of it being inside a house, 
it's on a fucking, it's in outer space, or it's fucking on a waterfall. You know, all this stuff is sitting on a beautiful waterfall, waterfall somewhere. And then, to continue that, to say that fucking, you know, let's say you're listening to music, and fucking, and, and fucking, your favorite band is, is playing behind you, and on another area, on a stage, right? Fucking, and, and this, all this stuff, can be with you anywhere because as you know if you've had an oculus or if you're listening to what i'm saying your oculus can be taken anywhere right as long as it's charged up you could be on a fucking bus fucking going somewhere you could be in the middle of the desert and you can play a video game in vr no matter where you are right and if you had if you if you had a fucking movie fucking downloaded you could do that same thing so you could literally do that with anything in the world and do it wherever you like now what i'm also advising is that there's also work accessing that you could do right now they already have it it's it's called like desktop and basically the how that works is that you can link your pc like your work pc to fucking your 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 vr also so basically you know you could access whatever you, you you'd be able to do on your laptop in the virtual world just like Basically, you have your whole office with you, but it's all this virtual world that you're sitting in. So, at any point in your time, at any point of your day, no matter where you were, just like having your cell phone, you could pull it out, call somebody, watch a movie, play a video game on it, whatever you want. You could do that same thing as shit, but you could do it like if you were inside your house. Like I said, your dream house. So, you could be fucking sitting fucking in the middle of a field somewhere, if you have Wi-Fi, and you could start doing your work from home. You could work from home fucking and, and be doing in the middle of this fucking on the, on the best computer setup you've ever had because it's all in virtual reality you also could be fucking uh you know imagine if they amplify implemented this into fucking google earth right we have google earth now we can fucking go on our phones and just look down and look at our old streets we maybe once lived on we could look at a place maybe we're going to visit and, and get an upward view of it you know we, same thing would be like you could google earth in vr where it feels like you're actually walking down a street in fucking in Rio or in fucking Ibiza or in fucking Hawaii, like it's it's literally endless. And you could be doing this. You could you could at, at the drop of a dime put on your headset, like I said, Google Earth, be all of a sudden walking down a street in Ibiza, exactly the way it is. You could be watching, be walking the street, watch a movie like you're watching in a movie theater. You walk down the street, fucking just start doing work from work because fucking because fucking uh. You know, because fucking you have access to it because it's connected. It's literally endless, you know, what can be done. And unfortunately, not enough people believe in it because nowadays, you know, no developers have it. So the, even the VR games, which is like the main thing that's providing it, they fucking, it just looks like shit, like PS2 block things. But if everyone started working, so we have, you know, so if all our VR would look like this when we look around, people would have more confidence in it and that's what we need we need people to understand that like a mat just to have to imagine that that, that that capability of the fact that you know wouldn't you want just like you have your phone and you can use anywhere and watch a movie it's not fun though to watch a movie on your fucking phone but it's just imagine if you could watch it like you were in the the best a uh, movie theater in space on jupiter watching fucking infinity war right now, the only negative is that, you know, motion fi- sickness, and that's the tough one to get over. People do get motion sickness, and just that's just how it is. Uh, I would hope, hopefully, we learn to adapt that, we get better. Maybe just t- over time, start doing it more, you'll, you'll, we'll, we'll learn to over- adapt it. But it truly is the future, uh, you know, and it's sad, you know, and think about the fact that once more, more people start doing it, you know, you could obviously be in this virtual world. And easily, you know, just like you could drop in on on friends on and, and things, you could just easily drop in on friends, uh, you know, in a different area, like in your VR world. Like you just like hey, maybe like you have your your dream home, right? Your friend has a dream home, and you and then the center area where fucking you know all you and your friends can meet. You could go into that center area, see if anyone was in there, see if people are talking, and basically you see your per- friends like in real life, but in this virtual world, you know, like if you were doing a text chat or whatever. And I've even seen things with the capabilities where they show uh, the cameras on the inside of the mask. So you can have like a photo made version of yourself or obviously like an avatar of yourself or a fake one. Maybe you can make yourself look however you want, like a big 
dragon monster or a badass knight, you know. But it can, it, they have a camera on the inside of the mask, so it can uh, read your facial expressions. So, so if you're frowning or laughing or cringing or whatever, you can express those emotions as well in this virtual world. Uh, so it is, it's, it's amazing, you know, if you really think about the, 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 the possibilities of it. And like I said, it's very simple. If, if, you know, we have good enough graphics of where things look movie, right? We, we can, we can play Half-Life Alex and see amazing graphics in VR. So if everyone's committed to that and we fucking, and Google really worked on making a fucking Google Earth in VR. If fucking, we worked on fucking, uh, you know, a desktop thing where we, you know, where we can it looks, you know, Christine 4K. We're sitting on a waterfall doing our work, right? And it's easy and, and streamless to fucking be able to type and move screens and shit. Um, and fucking, and do all that. Just like we can play video games very easily. You know, all we need is them to start working on it. So, if that's a question you'd be wondering, or wondering how it could be a thing, or what, what how could VR possibly be the future, I hope this kind of sheds a light. Uh, makes you start thinking about it and, you know, work with me to hope that one day we get it soon. Alright guys, that's all I have to say. Later.